All right, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my latest creation. So this is, I believe, the first uh, Create Mod helicopter. I haven't seen any before. Um, and what's special about this is that it moves forwards uh, by rotation. So what does that mean? Well, I've been inspired by a um, by Mi Mizda's walker, uh, his mech. So I went ahead and I downloaded that, and I... I figured out how rotation works. So I didn't know how to have several bearings connected to um, the same chassis, I guess. I, I never figured it out. But the key is that you got to have a second sort of uh, chassis oriented this way with glue. And that'll hold on to it. So that's the key. Thank you a lot. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what this thing does. Um, it can move forward and rotate um, and go up and down just like my other airship it does so differently um, it still uses a piston based up and down I tried to to make an up and down be rotational but uh, yeah I just couldn't figure out how to get that to work nice um, I had some catastrophes where the whole thing would rotate and it was just oh, I was a mess so I just uh, went with what I knew worked and actually I kind of shrunk it down so there's no glass Unlike my other ones, I've kind of figured out how pistons work a bit better. So, yeah, so learn a few things making this. All right, so, so I'll show you guys what it can do. So first off, we're we're gonna move forward, and I'll go ahead. So there, there you go. So you see, it kind of, it chooses, well, it doesn't choose, it uses, it rotates around a certain axis, 180 degrees, in order to move the ship forward. So the helicopter moves forward, but it moves forward in sort of an arch, which is kind of neat. It's like you're, I don't know, maybe it's windy or something, and you're flying, and it's, uh, it's not a straight line, but it's pretty cool. And compared to piston engines you don't have to wait for it to uh for the pistons to retract and you know the pusher and the puller to do their things you're always you're kind of always productive you're always moving forward you know so that's pretty neat um that's what i like about this new uh, way of rotational movement so this thing can also turn so notice it's the the main body turns and the I guess the propeller stays fixed. So I'll go ahead and turn again to show you. You might notice that on the back there, that little thing that goes up and down, that's also maintaining the same orientation. So that's also on a bearing. So why did I do that? Well, the reason for that is because, like I said in other videos, these sequential gear shifts, as great as they are, um, if they rotate, they kind of change the directions that the piston go in. And I don't understand why. I still haven't figured that out. What exactly is going on here? Um, I worked around this in my uh, other airships using uh, speed controllers, which they also change direction. But if you get them to change direction at the same time in the opposite way, it works. You know, it cancels out. So for this one, um, I just decided, hey, I don't want to use... Um, Speed controllers, actually this is quite survival friendly, I think, you know, so it doesn't use any, or too many complex things, right? So speed controllers are a little complex, this is, this is made out of mostly, uh, out of simpler components. So, um, yeah, so I can show you guys uh, the up and down. So there's two segments here, they're labeled, we'll do the down segment first. So there you have it. It's a little bit slow because I'm using, um, you know, I'm only using one um, magma block fan engine and um, a uh, sequential gear shift. I, it has enough power. So if I do it again, oh, that was a turn. 
Yeah, so uh, what I meant to do was down. And this is using 32, so I could add uh, maybe a um, a chain um, a chain gear shift to double the speed, because I do have enough uh, stress units for that. Okay, so now for the up. There we go. So, I have a little room in here that has the, um, there's a delay, right? So, when I send the signal, it sends the signal to the first gear shift that needs to be triggered, and then there's a delay, and it triggers the second one to put everything back into place. All right, so this, oh, there's a fire over there, geez, wow, okay. Um, well, you know, this is fun. You can get around, um, but, you know, you can also do stuff. So this one, I decided to make a tanker. So you can actually go and, you know, you can get some water, some lava, or whatever, uh, if you're using other mods, uh, different kinds of liquids. So actually, maybe we'll go put out that fire over there. So, okay, the tank's empty right now. So I'll use the controls in here now. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll turn over. I like looking at the propeller move. It's kind of neat. All right, so there's some water over there. So we're going to try to head over there. I think I need to fly over a little bit. And then I should be aligned now. Perfect. Okay, so I'm aligned with the water. Go ahead, advance these buttons on the ceiling on the floor, by the way, that's the up and down. All right, let's go forward a bit more. Let's go forward a few times. So what I like about this build is that the functional is also part of the aesthetic, right? So in my other airships, things were kind of hidden, but in this one, uh, well, the propeller on top is actually doing the movement. So that's... Uh, that's neat. Like, it doesn't have to be long like that, but that's just for, that's for looks, you know? It doesn't have to be um, that long, but it's really, you know, this segment here that does the moving. Okay, so we're not quite, so I have a hose, but we're not quite over the water yet. So if I was in survival and I couldn't fly, there's this little window so you can look down. So I'm going to go forward just once more. And there we go. We're above the water. So... What I have here is a clutch and a gear shift. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, deactivate the clutch. And uh, yeah, so our hose is going down. We have the pump. So the pump is already facing upwards. You can tell by this little arrow. If I right click it, that'll change direction. So, yeah, so the hose is in the water now. So it should start filling up. So if we just wait. Yeah, it's starting to fill up. So we'll get a bit of water, and then we can go put out that fire before it spreads more. Well, looks like it already got that tree, but I think we can uh, at least put out the fire. So we're, we're going to get a few buckets worth of water from here. Some glow squid down there. It's kind of funny. All right, so we have two buckets in here. I'm going to wait till we get three, and then I'm going to bring up the hose. So to do that, I'm going to change direction here. And the hose is going to come back up. So there's some trees in the way. I don't want it to snag on them, so I'm going to bring it up all the way. All right, looks like it's here. And we're gonna head on forward. But now, up until now, I've just been hitting this button. I have this lever here, which if I just leave it activated, well, we're gonna keep advancing until I uh, I undo the lever. So see, it just keeps going. And I have a little oscillator circuit up there um, using a, um, a comparator that I can show you after. I'm gonna, yeah. So 
I'm going to turn that off until we get closer. So we're almost there. We're almost ready to put out the fire. Maybe one or two more. Can check in our window. Oh yeah, I think we're pretty close. So can lower the hose a bit. Maybe we'll stop it there and I'll change the direction of this. So now the hose, the pump, is pumping downwards. And you see, oh, it's it's going through, so we got some water and well we're not quite over it, but hopefully Hopefully we get it. Oh yeah, perfect. Alright. Good. So we, we saved the forest. We turned off the fire. Fire's gone. And uh yeah, so we're uh we're firefighters now. So you can, you know, in this example I just went and got some water to turn off the to extinguish the fire, but you know, you could go and gather lava or something or or who knows, or whatever you want to do. Somehow it's still filling up. I don't get how that's working, but maybe it's just because I'm on creative or who knows. Okay. Well, let's, let's bring that back up. So yeah, we put it out. The water's gone. Maybe we sucked it back up. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, so yeah, so I said there was a little oscillator circuit. It's really simple. It's This is the signal to go forward. It goes into this comparator and then the signal goes back to itself and it turns off so I just have this forward mechanism uh, that can work on either a button or a lever so that's pretty neat um, anything other peculiar here yeah so I have this secondary chassis and it's you know it's it's going over the propeller that's kind of not really realistic because you know the propeller is going through that but um, I have no choice but to have that because when I go up and down, I need it to, to, to move the propeller part down. Otherwise, it's going to stay stuck upwards. Even though, and I don't understand this, there's a bearing under here. Even though the bearing has a sticky side, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to do the job. So, um, if anyone has any ideas, um, or knows why that's the case, please let me know. I'm very curious. Um... Another thing is, I have the same sort of idea back here. So it's for the so since this always has the same orientation, like this will always face, like it's the sign side is facing eastward. So it's like if I turn, I'll show you. Let's say I turn the ship. We'll see the signs. They're always facing the same way. And like I said, that's because of how the sequential gear shifts are affected by uh, rotation. So they, they don't actually rotate. And I needed to have, um, just keep this on the ship. So that's achieved by this sort of secondary chassis here holding on. And that's for, yeah, well, it has to move the rest of the ship up and down. So that's why it does that, because otherwise it uh, wouldn't be able to. So uh, like for my other builds, I have, uh, I'll put, the um, the schematic in the description, so uh, you guys can look at that. So uh, yeah, so this is my helicopter. Um, I haven't seen any other helicopters before, and uh, it was an idea I had for a while, but I wasn't able to implement it until I saw uh, Mizda's um, uh, Mecha video, his uh, that and his simple walker. So thanks again for uh, to Mizda for that. That really uh, allowed me to figure out how to. Um, allow multiple bearings to be connected to the same uh, structure and working so that's uh yeah so that's uh, that's why i was able to build this so uh here's my helicopter um i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh thank you for watching